That is a brilliant question because you see, what we often don't realize is that the changes that you will make to optimize your fertility, they, they require that you are focused on making them happen throughout every single day of many, many months, right? So the things that you're doing, just because it's called the 14 day fertility challenge does not mean that you're going to get pregnant in 14 days. In fact, the vast majority of the couples who come and join us have been infertile for many, many years. And it takes a bit of time you know, for that to change. In fact, just from a biological perspective, what we know about the egg and its maturation cycle is that it takes about four months for the primordial follicle. So we women are born with all the eggs we'll ever have. And those are called the primordial follicles. From primordial follicle to primary follicle, it takes four months or thereabouts. From primary follicle to ovulatory follicle, it takes another four months, right? So the total egg maturation period is actually eight months, right? And, and the more that you're doing the things that you're doing, the better the quality of your eggs will become, right? Despite the whole kind of scaremongering that goes on of like, oh, you know, you're getting older, you should start trying. Actually, doing the right things over a period of time improves your chances of conception. In fact, I have had many patients who have come to me that were infertile for many years, you know, four years, five years, six years, and even as long as 19 years who implemented all of this and who ended up with having healthy babies naturally in their 40s, by the way, as a result of this improvement that happens over time, right? So I know for a fact that everything that you begin doing today, you will already see a difference within four months from now. Within another four months, you'll see even more of a difference. Some couples may conceive within the first four months, right, of implementing the changes. Some, for some couples, that, that is all that it takes. For other couples, it takes a bit longer. But the reality of it is that the longer you continue to implement, and that's so important that you are continuing to implement on a regular basis. It's not something that you are, um, you know, you do a little bit today and then you kind of go back to all of your old bad habits and then you kind of start again. And, you know, if you're doing this hap haphazardly, it's not going to be the best way, right? You really need to be consistent and committed to the changes that you're implementing as a couple, as a team. That is the best way to optimize your chances of success in having a baby, right? So how long does it take? Well, it really depends. How long is a piece of string? You know, they, it's, a, it's a cliche, but it's true. The reality of it is that each person will be different. You know, one of the ladies who I've mentioned before, in fact, she's one of the case studies because I've interviewed her um, in one of, of the webinars that I've done and I put her case study up in the 14 Day Fertility Challenge uh, platform. And her story is such that she was trying to conceive prior to seeing me for 19 years. She had literally had multiple failed IVF attempts, had done many different things that didn't work and had PCOS and very irregular cycles and you know lots of different minor factors getting in the way. And what was really interesting about her situation is that once we addressed both her and her partner's situation at the same time, over a five month period, she then conceive, uh, conceived and now she has a beautiful uh, baby girl who's actually growing up way too fast. But um, the reality is that, you know, after 19 years and we didn't really, you know, she basically came to me as the majority of my patients come to me saying, you know, Gabriella, I'm here. This is my last resort. Um, I want to see if I can do everything that I possibly can and see if that will be enough. You know, so often it is enough. You've just got to know exactly what to do, exactly where to look, exactly how to change things. And you need to work together as a team, as I, as I said before. You know, but again, how long it will take, it really depends. I've also had other patients who, for whatever reason, you know, needed to have Im Im improvements in sperm health, that it took nine months before we saw a change, right? So it really depends, but every single step that you take and the more consistent you continue to be throughout the time, the better your chances of success will be. So I hope that helps. Stay put, stay committed, continue doing everything that you've learned and continue implementing. And if you have not yet done the 14 day fertility challenge, 
join me because it's a wonderful event. Just literally Google 14 Day Fertility Challenge, you will find it. And, uh, and I really hope to have you on board and hope to have you be my next success story. So until next time, bye for now.